Hi everybody, Robert here. In this exercise, we're going to create a junction box. And so let's get started. So let's jump into Revit here. New families. And let's go down to generic model. And let's open. <clears throat> now, on the create tab, let's go to family. Um, category and parameters here and let's go and select this as electrical equipment no this is going to be an electrical fixture I'm sorry and let's scroll down to and say maintain annotation orientation and let's click OK now let's create our reference planes. Let's right click on this one and create similar. And let's do the pick a line command. And let's offset this at two inches. And then we'll pick to the left, to the right, to the left, to the top, to the bottom. Now let's escape. And let's do align dimensions. Let's equally constrain these. And do overall dimension. And do the same here. The overall dimension in here. Now, let's escape out of this and now. Let's go now. And let's select these two. This one with the code down the control key. And we'll add a label here. And we'll call this box size. And we'll be a type parameter and we'll say OK. And there we have our box sizes. So now. Let's go into our left elevation view. Let's find it here. Okay. Or well, we can go to our front as well. So let's right click on one of our reference planes, create similar on the draw panel. We'll do a pick line button and let's offset this at, at two inches. And we'll pick this guy here. Oop, I'm going to do that. I want to go up here. So let's do that again. So let's go with, okay, I'm still there and there. So we have our offset and we'll put a dimension in here. Let's go tab to the reference plane and go here. And we'll add a label to this guy. Cancel all that. So select it. Gotta add a parameter here. Let's call this box depth. And keep it as a type parameter and say OK. Now let's go into our family types and where we have our box depth. We want to add a formula here. So let's say box size divided by two. And click apply. And click OK. Now let's go back to our reference level. And let's uh, and now here's our area here. Now let's go to create extrusion on the draw panel. Let's hit the pick line command, and we'll select all four lines, reference planes. This time, instead of trimming, I want to put a radius here. So on the draw panel, let's select this. And let's select, uh, tick the radius button. 
So fill it arc button here, and then do the radius. And let's give it a radius of a half an inch. And then let's go and pick here, and here, here to here, 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 and this one, and this one. And let's get finish edit mode. And now let's go back to our front elevation. Let's find it here. Let's, let's zoom in here on our area. And now you can select AL for a line. And let's align from here to here and lock it. Okay. <clears throat> Now, let's go back to our reference level. Now let's click, now let's save this. Let's go, let me see view here. Let's close hidden windows for right now. And now let's save this file. We'll go save as. Family, and I'm going to call this junction box. And I'm going to probably save it on my desktop like I do everything else. <laughs> Just a junction box. You can save it wherever you like. Let me spell it right too, of course. And we'll save. So now we have our. Junction box saved. And now the next thing we want to do now. Uh, now let's select the box and let's click on visibility settings. Uncheck plan and reflect the ceiling and hit OK. Now let's go back. Let's go back into create a new family. So let's go to file, new, family. And we want to find an annotation family here. So let's go to annotations. Let's go to generic annotation here and open this up. Now we can delete this note. And let's click on the, the text button. So we're going to edit this type here. One second. No, I want to do this here. I want to. We want to cancel this and let's just edit this type here. And let's make this width factor 0 0.8. And let's make the background transparent. And let's click OK. Now let's pick a point. Okay, that's kind of big, so let's just wait a second here. Let's fix this. Uh, let's pick a point here. And let's say J. Let's make a capital J here. Let's zoom in so we can see. Really won't snap to this. So we kind of have to kind of move this in by eyeball. Let's just pick this up. And let's drag it right about there. Yeah. Okay. Now let's hit this, this modify to get out of this. Now let's select the J again and let's say horizontal alignment. Let's say center. And say we want to keep readable turn on and visible on. So let's hit escape a couple of times. Get out of this. Now let's have rotate with component on. 
And keep text readable is checked on. Now let's go to the right tab. And let's create a line. So let's do a circle here. And so let's make this uh, radius, let's make this 1 16th. And let's zoom it right in here and let's center it right there. Well, let's, well, we want to set it there, but let's kind of move this J around a bit. Let's put it right about like that. I think that should work. Okay, now, now let's click save. Let's say file, save, there we go. We can do it this way, we can go save. And we'll put this on my desktop as well. We'll call this junction box. Uh, let's just do this. and say junction box. We can just add this here on the end. Yes, we can call it junction box annotation or junction box text. Say annotation. Let's go to options. We want to save one backup. We didn't do this before, but we should add and say OK. And let's save it. Oop. Let's just fix this here. Doesn't really matter. <clears throat> this doesn't matter, I don't think. But let's just fix this. Delete this out. Function box space. And notation. And then we'll save it. <clears throat> Next, what we want to do now is we want to load this back into our project. And we want to place it right about there. Now, let's hit align again. So let's hit align. We want to align this to this and lock it. We'll align this one to that one and lock it. So there's our M. Now let's go. Now let's go into my project. Let's go find my blast project. And I think we want to find a electrical house. So let's open that up. <coughs> Okay, now we're in, let's go to one of our ceiling plans here. Uh, I don't want to do that one. Uh, yeah, let's go to this one. This is the one we did all our electrical circuits in. Well, let's, uh, now let's see if we can raise that box in this drawing. In this <clears throat> so let's do... Let's go window tile here so we can find our junction box that we created. There it is. Now let's load this into our project. And we're going to do the electrical house and we'll say OK. Let's expand this out. So now we want to go find that box. Now let's go to systems and just click on device. And let's set this offset here at nine feet. I would probably say eight. Let's say eight here. Uh, we want to go above it. So let's make this nine. 
Let's place on the face. Okay, let's work clean here. Now what happened is we placed it, but we don't have the right uh, level. So let's cancel this. I'm on a silly electrical. Let's go to power and see what happens here. Let's go to device. Okay, so I don't want that one. Let's go to system and let's go to component to still be there. There's our junction box. I got it on level one. It shouldn't be, it should be higher though. So let's take this and set this at eight feet. So now this level should be at eight feet. Yes. Okay. So now let's go in and look at this in a section view to see exactly where it is. Let's just drop a section right there. Make it straight. Let's undo that and place it again. Let's create a section view through here. Just so we can see where our box is. It should be just above the ceiling. So let's double click on this. And there's our junction box right there, right just above the ceiling. And we can move it up. Let's move it up to about eight foot six or eight foot four. Let's go eight six. So there's our box. It's going to be right above the ceiling, above the joists and everything. So now let's do one last thing here. Let's go into uh, back into our plan view. There's our box, so let's double click on this and one the last thing here. So now we're in here. Let's go to a 3D view. And let's add some, uh, let's go to the Create tab. Create electrical connector. And we'll put one right on the face of it. Hit Escape. Now let's select the connector. And now for voltage, we want to put this at 120. Let's put this at 120. Okay, and click apply. Now let's load this back into our project. And here we're going to overwrite the existing version. Now let's select it, and there's we can create a power circuit and circuit it to our panel. So that's how you make a junction box in Revit. So thank you for watching this video, and we'll move on uh, and do some more junction boxes. Thanks for watching, and have a good one. Bye.